guys, we're going to do another update on one of our smaller uh, Dixonia Antarctica. This one uh, survived the winter. It's been outside a few years now, no protection. And I'm quite surprised that it made it through that December freeze. Uh, there was another one here that started coming up and it kind of petered out. You see the seedlings are popping at this time of the year, but this one here looks pretty darn good and it's still unfurling fronds. So that's a Tasmanian tree fern. Yes, we have a bigger one in the back. You've seen the videos of and you can see the avocados. You want to grow avocados, just push the seeds in the garden and they just come up everywhere. You know, sometimes they last a few years, sometimes they last a year, sometimes they just last till the winter and you get a real good cold snap and they're done. So they're just fun to grow in the garden. So I never throw seeds out. I always push them into the garden. Another fern coming up there. And um, these are all trackies in here. There's tracky carpus. Uh, there's a hybrid there. That's a hybrid, you can tell. That one could be hybrid too. Fortunae and uh, just a mixed bag, but there it is, looking pretty good. Not too shabby, late summer, and uh, this little guy's flourishing. So that is a Tasmanian tree for in Dixonia, Antarctica, growing here on Salt Spring Island, Canada. In the shade and well watered.